Hello, welcome to Flower Chase. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make an arrangement really inspired by this lantern. So this was a lantern I found in a kind of local homeware sort of store, and um, I really liked it. And I thought, well, I quite like that for my living room, but it's also got the potential that we could do different things with it. Like we could put a vase inside here and make a big vase of flowers. We could sit this on a base and keep it as a lantern and make a floral base. What I'm going to do today is this pot just fits in perfectly here. I've got a little bit of floral foam just at the top and what we're going to do is make an arrangement that would be good just for sitting on a side table and just really using these kind of tropical materials that I've got. Uh, so I've got some nice palm leaves and I've got some nice orchids, so I just wanted to make a fun little arrangement that would be great for the home that is slightly tropical uh, and just enjoy it. So straight away those palm leaves give us a really good effect. Now I also have some phoenix palm here and what we're going to do is we're just going to cut these to get a nice effect. So can you see, just by cutting that, we can create um, an interesting dynamic to the actual palm leaf. So this is the thing, you might not have a lot of materials, but when you're making something, it's quite nice to put something in it that gives you just a little bit of interest or a little highlight, a little thing that will make people look twice. Uh, is a good way of thinking about it. So, this is our little detail. And uh, it's taken me years, but I now have a pair of scissors that are sharp scissors only and don't get used for anything like wires or um, the general rough stuff. And that way, I know I've got a pair of good sharp scissors. So, straight away we've got a little bit of fun with our three pieces. Now I don't want to put them in in such a way that they, they disappear. Um, so we really want to be able to see that. So what we've got is we're going to take our flowers this kind of direction. So we're going to really see these because they're at the front and they're coming over the edge of the container. So one of our main flowers is going to be this beautiful orchid. And I do have a little bit of Aspidistra. I do like Aspidistra. I think it's a great material to have and to use. It lasts really well and if you're making an arrangement for the home and you're wanting something that maybe you can keep for your next arrangement then it's worth buying Aspidistra. So straight away what I've done is I've done them so that they really go across the way. So we're getting a grouping of palm, but we've also got palm on this side, and then we've got this line of Aspidistra. So this is giving us a good strong base to frame our flowers. So what I'm going to do now is just put in a little bit of filler flower, and for that I've got this lovely sunny solidago. And when you're using, I would say, materials that are quite big, so the palm is quite bold, the aspidistra is quite bold, the orchids are quite bold, what we need to do is find something that does have a bit of a contrast. So this solid ego is not only bringing in colour, which is good, but it's bringing in a contrast of shape. So 
So you can see this is definitely fits in well, even though you might think of it more as like a kind of summer flower or a, a garden flower. It's working with our tropicals just because of the colour. And I'm taking it down even into this area here. You're just getting a glimpse of that yellow through the back, which is good. Right, so we've got our base so far. What I've got now is I've got anthuriums and I've got some gerbera. So we need to decide where we're going to put the gerbera and where we're going to put the anthurium. And I think the gerbera in the middle is a better option. So what we'll do is we'll put our anthuriums here. I just want to get more of a little angle on that one actually. Yeah, that's better. So this set here is really complementing our set on that side. And now we can just add our gerberas. I want to put them in a kind of rough line down the centre. I don't want it to sit perfectly or look too contrived. I want the arrangement to just feel quite light and just a little bit natural as well. So I think we can probably go back into here with this one. Now we can even have it facing backwards. Yeah, that's nice. And the reason that that is quite nice and works is that you're just seeing a different aspect to the actual flower. Got a little space there that I'm just going to put a little bit of foliage in. So. It's as simple as that. We've not got a lot of different things going on, but the things that we've got are bold. And then we've got a little highlight with our sculpted palm just to draw the eye. We've got a lot of interest here. So this is actually kind of picking up on that to give a really nice effect. So I hope you've enjoyed today's arrangement. It's really an ideal arrangement, maybe as a gift, but also for in your home, just sitting on a sideboard or for you to enjoy as you come in the front door. So thank you for watching. We've got new videos every week and we would love you to join us for our next design. Take care and stay safe.